Do you have a blue tick? I, no, I don't have a blue tick. I, I don't have a blue tick only because it, it's just been too much admin to go and get it. I've wanted to, but now I guess yeah. it's pointless, right? Well, I have one that I had to had to buy, paid for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's so, where we are. Now. <laughs> so yeah. last week, Twitter finally implemented the, the previously announced removal of uh, the blue check marks. Mm. The change means that only paying Twitter blue subscribers will retain a blue check mark next to their names. Yeah, since the billionaire Elon Musk took over Twitter, uh, there have been some changes on the platform. But to reflect on some some of the changes we are now joined by SABC News social media specialist as Tembi so as Tolis Mizuchobe like Kaya. Tembi so good morning to you. Morning Naledi, morning Eldrin. So let's start with April, the announcement that um, SpaceX owner Elon Musk wants to buy Twitter. Definitely, as we put that on our screen, you are correct there. He expressed his interest, Elon Musk. We all know he's someone who's ambitious, particularly spent time, a lot of time on social media. As we reflect on that, his desire to buy Twitter basically said he wanted to bring some changes there. Really, that was on, of course, uh, April 2022. You are correct there. And as those discussions taking place, as we move to the another slide there, he then expressed concerns to simply say, uh, yes, I'm interested to buy this account. But then again, he put that deal on hold. And the grounds there was on the ground because he felt that there was an issue where they were banned accounts, you know, uh, where they bought accounts, where he felt like, you know, uh, there are a lot of accounts in terms of Twitter is not really accounting in terms of how many people are there that are those, of the course, bots. banned. The bot, uh, you know, in between. And they're basically really saying, how do you deal with the fake accounts? You know, what measures are they putting that? With that, then he simply said, no, I'm putting this deal on hold. Yeah. But eventually he acquired the deal. And I think that, yeah. was, that was quite a, a big moment for us in 2022 when we saw even just the way he started tweeting yeah. uh, himself when he was when he became the head of honcho at Twitter. I think a very exciting time last year. Definitely. Everyone was concerned in terms of what does this mean? What changes is he going to implement Eldrin? But then, like you correct, he was bolding, you know, was bold there on social media, you know, posting around, mm -hmm. simply saying, finally, I get a chance to bring the changes that I need. And one of the key things that he mentioned was extending the Twitter, you know, giving opportunity for people to be able to edit yeah. those tweets in between. And I remember one of the big things for him, um, the lady was around uh, freedom of speech mm. and remembered with Donald Trump as well. Remember when Donald Trump was banned from Twitter yes. and the expectation was that with Elon Musk taking on Twitter that he will be able to bring back Donald Trump. Well, Donald Trump hasn't really showed some interest. But I just quickly want to go back to the acquisition yeah. though of yes. Twitter because I remember um, they, they, they threatened to take him to court because yes. he, he, he reneged on the deal. Definitely. And that because, remember, he, because of the views that he had, some of the concern that he had in terms of how the company is operational, uh, operating rather than some people decided to say, no, Twitter actually will take him to court, forcing him now to really continue with the deal. And eventually, of course, before that decision was made in court, then he decided to reverse and really acquire Twitter. Yeah. So once he did, what's the first thing he did? Let's take us back. The first thing Elon Musk did. Definitely. The first thing was to fire some of the top executives, mm -hmm. you know, and then later on, because of the backlash uh, that took place, then, then he realized, no, I need some of those. He rehired them. And social media was simply saying, what does that mean? You know, why are you deciding to do that? And others simply saying that distancing themselves from him. And as we, st and, and, and of course, others even went on uh, protesting in regards to this decision. And later on, then he managed to get his people that he think are fit to run the organization. Yeah. And where Twitter is now is around the protest over the the blue tick mm. um, very important because um, the the impression that it was given was that if you get the blue tick we can verify that it is actually naledi right mm. yes. um, however though some of the gremlins that then came in was that some people were able to actually get the blue tick even though they are not Lena Lady. Yes. Yes. <laughs> definitely. And that so they been, just pay for that. Definitely. And that has been a big concern. Remember the verification processes, uh, the, 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 the Twitter would identify you in terms of if you're a journalist, if you're a media personality, if you're an actor, and all of that. There was that category. And then, then it moved to another stage where you can apply, mm. where you apply and they, one of the key things they would need would be your ID, was the link of the articles made that have been written about you. And then now we are where we are, where in South Africa you are expected to pay 200 rand for you to actually sure. get um, a Twitter, you know, 200 rand a month. So if you time them times 12, it would be 2,400. Eldrin? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I, I was saying that um, I, I, I plead guilty. <laughs> he's, he's <laughs> I, I, paid, I, paid, I, paid, I paid the 200. But I have to say, though, the, the verification comes with, uh, the, the blue tick comes with a lot of other features. Like, for instance, now you can Selling write an it. entire, you can write an entire article. Yeah, yeah. You can edit your tweets. And yes. people, a lot of people have been calling for tweets to be, 
edit it. So the capability to edit here, it. Here's what I found particularly yeah. interesting. And perhaps, Tay, you can help yes, us with this, yes. right? And you, you've got someone like like uh, Aldrin who who says, "Well, I've already paid my my, my two thousand four hundred or two uh, two hundred rand yeah. Yeah. to get your verification." Um, explain to the rest of us, like people like me who haven't actually gone through the process, how it works, why it's important, but also for me, it's. This is a billionaire, one yes. of the richest people in the world, and he's about to get even richer just from verifications, right? You are correct. I think we, it's no secret he's a businessman, yeah. and he really wants to make sure that he gets profit. And the idea here, you, if you check his Twitter account there, there's an option where you subscribe. And the idea, I think the verification process, it was meant just to check the credibility, you know, in terms of why you are important. I want, was verified, and I'm going to join Eldrin, you know, in terms of really uh, purchasing that, simply because I really want to make sure that whatever, I mean, there's a difference, there's a difference in terms of other people who might be imposing me or imposing another person yeah. and that's that but coming back to that part in terms of him making people to pay you have an option and some of those benefits are of course you can edit your tweets you know uh, you can have actually decide who you, who can have access to what you are posting or what is it that you want to see those are the benefits but at the same time let's face it not everyone can afford that amount yeah. you know not everyone can afford to pay that amount and other people have really simply said no we are not going to be paying that amount yeah. also media organizations are still now I mean finding solutions do we pay do we not pay yeah. And, and, and the interesting thing about that, about the payment option, is that I remember when he came up with the idea, his argument was that you should try and make it more, ex uh, more inclusive. Yes. yes. So it's not just uh, the rich and famous who mm. gets the blue tick, but the ordinary guy gets the blue tick yes. as well. But then, of course, then comes the issue around the cost. But tell us about where we are currently. Because some people refused the blue tick and woke up the next morning, refused to pay for the blue tick, and woke up the next morning and gone. the blue ticks were gone. And then the next thing, the blue ticks are back. Yes, not for everyone. So he then put a tweet to him saying he paid for some of their media personalities. Oh. And then the question would be, what criteria did he use uh, to decide to pay for those uh, media personalities? Is this a sign that maybe he might change his thoughts? So is it only for you, Nalidi, to purchase? We'll see how it goes. No, no, I, I'm, I'm listening. I have very little interest in getting in touch with you. I tick on my screen, on yes, my phone, for yes. 2,400 rand, and it's not about affordability. For me, it just, it's a logical thing, yeah. Definitely, and, and of course, another part that we, need, we don't have to forget is that media uh, agencies use this platform to yeah. sell products. Mm -hmm. Influencers use this platform to sell products. And of course, they look into the followers and the verification. Then does this mean then the criteria in terms of how they give you a deal uh, as, a, as, as an influencer, as a company, is it because you're not verified? Is, is that going to matter? But the big one is, let's not forget Facebook as well. You yeah. also have that blue tick, you know. Yes. And of course, Facebook is owned by, uh, you know, a different entity. The question is, will they take a similar direction? That's something that we're looking forward to see. But they introduced the yellow tick, isn't it? Did yes. They introduced the yellow tick. I don't know what the difference is, because I've seen with some media companies, they have yellow ticks instead of the blue tick. Definitely, like other organizations, they have that. So I think there's another option that you can decide in terms of how you want it to be. But most importantly, he's then using those different symbols to categorize media houses and those are journalists in between yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I think let's leave it there. Certainly an interesting conversation. And thank you so much for enlightening someone like me who obviously doesn't have a big presence on Twitter or, or social media, but perhaps it is something I'll look into. Uh, uh, my whole intention behind supporting Elon Musk was Umkaya Wasepitori, so I have to support his business ventures. <laughs> He's a patriotic man. Thank you so much to Stembisos Toilets and Bizu He's our social media specialist here at the SCBC. Let's take a short break. We'll back.